Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on May 19th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, small earthquakes, volcanoes and world weather. Always starting out here looking at the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun, M-class solar flares, pretty quick pulses of M-class solar flares, three of them to report and as well a big plasma filament eruption in the southern hemisphere of our sun still highly active right now and big sunspot region turning in this is the last 48 hours incoming so this is getting ready for an earth facing event for the next week we'll look on the left hand side big plasma prominence lifting about probably eight earths tall and as well a big plasma filament ripping away did produce a coronal mass ejection having a look at the last 48 hours outgoing watch in the left hand side going to see another plasma whip rip away but let's have a closer look at all the events that is the strongest m class player the last 48 hours it was moderate and that was recorded on the 17th and there are the minor m class solar flares that i will be showing momentarily but yeah lots of plasma activity especially in the southern hemisphere watching that large plasma filament there boom big rip creating a coronal mass ejection in a southward fashion but earth facing you'll see in the cme models as it dips underneath our planet as well pretty active regions here reacting with each other in the last few images this is the last couple hours of our sun for imagery right there having a look at multi-spectrum as we can see and note out the darkened regions which are coronal holes one in the north and as well one developing in the southern part of the big sunspot region turning in another light here there are all of the active sunspot regions right now and we have 11 to contend with right now for an earth-facing view going through a highly active solar cycle 25 I have a quick look here at the fluid motion of these sunspots and as well the delta and gamma rays ready to burst away interacting with each other in this big monstrous sunspot region as you can see it looks like it's swirling there amazing images here solar dynamics observatory mixed with daily events worldwide thank you so much for watching amazing images here of that large sunspot region current space weather conditions we are under r1 a minor radio blackout impacts expected weaker minor degradation of high frequency radio solar winds are coming in at 401 kilometers per second right now solar x-ray flux as you can see here reporting three minor m-class solar flares quick spikes did put us into r1 radio levels kp index hopping up to a 2.2 and then having a look at our space weather prediction center spiral here there's the most recent cme taking off in a southward fashion on our sun looks like it will be dipping under planet earth which is the green circle on the right hand side and all of the spiral energy coming off of our sun in the center there ISWA models are showing the same thing and as well there was another CME that took off towards Mercury and that's visible in Lasco 3 and as well here with ISWA Mercury is the orange circle the top part of our sun spiral there and then updating that and we just recently showing southward CME Kind of a ghost see me you can see it on the models in the right hand side doesn't really show in the models on the left but on the right you can definitely see it there with the little yellow circle as earth expecting a small geomagnetic event 20th into the 21st having a look at lasco 2 showing here mercury going by retrograde on the other side of the sun and as well venus coming into the view but not in 
this view, but in the broad band, it is there. But let's slow this down here and have a look at all this cosmic energy leaving our sun. Lots of plasma associated with the latest coronal mass ejections. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for hitting the like, commenting, letting me know where you're watching from. Much love to everybody who tunes in every day. If you think your friends and family will like it and would enjoy the awareness and being prepared, share the channel. Find me on Facebook as well. Now let's have a look at earthquakes. I did give you an update earlier on the 6.0 earthquake that struck Alaska forecasted region still watching lots of minor seismicity build across the u.s and we're up in over 400 earthquakes in a 24-hour period still so swarming in california swarming in hawaii new earthquake here mid-atlantic ridge 5.0 magnitude lots of pressure across the north american plate right now looks like it's being surrounded by pretty strong earthquakes 5.0 5.2 5.4 at the north pole and of course, the 6.0 magnitude Alaska now, earlier today. So heads up, my friends and family, earthquake prone zone, just to be ready. Especially across the Pacific plate into Indonesia, a lot of active volcanoes through the region. Getting into the summer months in the northern hemisphere, earth changes. Most recent earthquake, 4.9 here, South Sandwich Islands. It looks like it's right around the Michael Volcano. And as well notable here, 5.3 uh, earthquake towards the South Pole. Now let's give a quick update on the sulfur dioxide emissions models here. And that is brought to you by the 49 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet. Notable in the northeast region here, eastern Russia, Kamchatka, and as well through uh, New Caledonia. Sulfur emissions coming out of southeastern regions of Australia. There's also many wildfires burning in southwestern parts of the continent. And then eruptions in Colombia. Mexico, and as well Guatemala, keeping the air pretty nasty across the U.S. right now, and as well the Aleutian Islands, you can see a lot of pressure being released there. 6.0 earthquake, active volcanoes all along that the Aleutian Islands. Now let's have a quick look at weather forecast brought to you by Windy.com and daily events worldwide. Watching Big Low moving up into Hudson Bay. Could bring some snow to northern parts of Ontario. Extreme weather here building for Ontario Monday and Tuesday. As this low pressure system comes out of the central United States. Extreme weather through there, but also across northern and central Ontario here. Ottawa most likely seeing some severe weather Monday into Wednesday. And that is where I am broadcasting from for the next week. Big system here in the long range will be sweeping in east northeastward up into northern Ontario. And as I said, we could see some snow falling with this big system. Long range forecast parts of Manitoba and northern Ontario. Extreme weather moving through the Atlantic provinces eventually from this system here. The waves of moisture moving through. Lots of sticky, warm weather coming up, but then we've got a high-pressure polar ridge here developing. Long-range forecast going to make things very interesting, severe weather-wise across the United States. And then overlooking Russia and as well Europe. Big low-pressure system here across northern Russia. This thing is massive and multiple waves of snow wrapped up with this huge low pressure system there that thing is massive big low pressure system as well over Svalbard high pressure ridge over most of Europe this week 
extreme extreme weather moving into eastern India and Myanmar, parts of Thailand, and multiple rounds of storms developing through southern China. No major typhoons or cyclones developing in the long range here. Could see a small cyclone developing for northern uh, Philippines. Other than that, no major systems here forecast. Bands of rain the next few days through parts of New Zealand. High pressure ridge locked in over the Australian continent. And the monsoon rain seasons have begun, or season has begun. So heads up through those regions. Leave you here looking over the North Pacific. Big high pressure ridge still locked in over and off the coast of California all up through western United States. Going to keep things very dry for the next little while. Don't expect that to change for the long range either. So heads up. Big systems moving in and very dry air can, will be persistent across western United States and as well through the prairies. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.